Welcome back to session two of our series, Are You Loving It? And uh, this week we are discovering patience. The key we are discovering is patience. It's the second key to unlocking the power of uh, authentic love in everyday life. And um, in, in chapter three of his book, Gary Chapman shares with us a little something called the marshmallow test. Doesn't that just sound like a fun test? The marshmallow test makes, makes me want to go, go camping. But uh, anyway, this, this test was conducted over 40 years ago by uh, Dr. Walter Mischel at, at Stanford University. And uh, in this test, a researcher put a marshmallow in front of a four-year-old child and told him that he could have that one marshal, marshmallow uh, right there at that moment. But if he chose to wait 15 minutes until the researcher came back from doing whatever task he had to do, that he would be rewarded with two marshmallows. Now, some of the kids ate their one marshmallow right away, but others chose to wait the 15 minutes so they could have two. And it's kind of interesting, the study showed all in all, only one third of the children were willing to wait. And that, that's kind of interesting because 14 years later, Dr. Michelle interviewed the same kids again and discovered that those who had eaten the one marshmallow right away, they, they were actually more stubborn, impatient, and, and easily frustrated. While the children who waited for their two marshmallows had uh, better self-esteem, higher SAT scores, and were considered more socially adept and trustworthy. I want to share with you a, a takeaway I have uh, from that account, from that, from that test. And uh, that's simply, a life of impatience, a life of impatience has a cost. Gary, Gary shares in this chapter that every time we are impatient with others, we lose an opportunity to express love. And, and patience is, is no little matter, but a huge character trait, which is you know, why it's one of the seven keys that we're talking about, that may well be the difference between leaving a positive legacy and a negative one. We, uh, we shared earlier in, in session one how these seven keys can lead to success in life. And uh, I, I remember reading earlier Gary's definition of success is leaving your corner of the world better than you found it. Doesn't that sound like a, a cool definition? Leaving your corner of the world better than you found it. And the, and the way we accomplish that is through relationships. The way we accomplish that is through relationships. So the Apostle Paul tells us in Ephesians 4.2 that God calls us to be people of patience. In Colossians 3.13, he says, uh, bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance uh, against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Because it's, it's all about relationships. And, and I, I guess I really don't care what kind of relationship it is. If you want it to last, it's, it's gonna require patience. So that, that, I guess, brings us to the question, what is, what is patience? And, and Gary gives us some great examples of this in his book. Um, the first one being uh, patience is recognizing that, that people are in process. They're in process mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And you think about it, we don't expect a three-year-old to be emotionally, physically, or mentally, or spiritually on par with a 30-year-old. So what do we do? We, we allow room for them mature, to mature. We allow room for growth. We're, we're patient. And what we find is that uh, when we are patient, it creates an atmosphere for growth. Number two, um, in his book, Love is a Way of Life, uh, patience means caring enough to listen. And uh, if, if I had a confession to make, um, it would be that, you know, that's, that's one I need to work on, caring enough to listen. Uh, I guess, have, have you ever been talking onto the phone to somebody and someone said something hurtful and, and so, you know, you hung up the phone, right? 
or, or maybe um, you wouldn't let something go and you were talking so you know they hung up the phone on you you know have you ever had that happen I have and, and you know it doesn't feel very good it, it's it's a lack of patience that causes hurt that causes a rift in the relationship because we or, or the person we hung up on lost their patience Impatience always has a cost. Number three, Gary, Gary shares with us that patience is, is being willing to, to temporarily put up with unloving or emotional behavior in order to get at the issue that stimulates whatever anger we might be experiencing. It's, it's willing to endure hardship for the sake of the relationship in the hope that it will be restored. You know, if, if we generally care about people, if we generally want to be people who are loving, who are kind, who are, are, are patient, we're going to put up with somebody else's shenanigans uh, to, to find that diamond in the rough, so to speak. And then number four, um, he shares patience um, acknowledges that relationships are more important than schedules. I mean, how many of you uh, ever get caught up in your to-do list? Um, that's the kind of person I am. I, I make to-do lists, and I like to get things finished on my to-do list. And uh, if, if I'm not careful, sometimes I can allow that to-do list to become more controlling than it ought to be. I know I'm guilty of that one, but if I'm going to be, if we're going to be the people of God that God calls us, we're going to have to learn to put our to-do lists on hold, as, as painful and as difficult as, as that may be for some of us to do. So um, patience, uh, the second key um, to unlocking um, the power of God's authentic love um, in everyday life. And uh, in, in today's study, actually, we'll be looking at uh, John chapter 18 and 21, which is an account of Jesus and, and the patience he displayed toward one of his followers named Peter. Uh, just, just a great story. I really hope you enjoy digging into it. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great small group.